YouTube, today I want to walk you through a problem that shows up pretty commonly when we start looking at the forces by gravity acting on an object. See, the problem typically goes like this. There's a spaceship traveling from the Earth to the Moon, and we want to solve for the position between the Earth and the Moon where the net force by gravity is equal to zero. Now, internet, before you just rip me a new one, I know this drawing isn't to scale, so let's be cool about that in the comments, okay? You see, according to Newton's law of universal gravitation, the force by gravity between two masses is inversely proportional to the distance between them. Or in practice, what that means is as our little spaceship here gets farther and farther away from the Earth, the force by gravity from the Earth is going to decrease. But as it gets closer to the Moon, that force by gravity from the Moon is going to increase. Which means at some point between the Earth and the Moon, the force by gravity on our little spaceship from the Earth is going to be canceled out by the force by gravity from the Moon. Now, a lot of people like to dive right into the math of this problem, but in order to get a conceptual understanding for what's going on, let's graph the force by gravity as a function of position between the Earth and the Moon. And let's say the direction away from the Earth is positive. You see, applying this equation first to the force by the Earth. The force by gravity from the Earth is large and towards the Earth, that's the negative direction, when our object, in this case the spaceship, is close to the Earth. But as it gets farther and farther away, that force drops off. Now looking at the force by the moon on our ship as it travels from the Earth to the moon. Now kids, realize I've taken a few liberties with how I'm drawing this graph, because if I was actually to draw it to scale, it would look like this, which is utterly worthless. But getting back to the concepts in the problem. You'll notice, when the spaceship's close to the Earth, there's a lot of force by gravity from the Earth and very little from the Moon. But as we move closer and closer toward the Moon, that force by gravity from the Moon increases, and the force by the Earth decreases. And it's at this point right here where a little spaceship is in equilibrium, which is sometimes referred to as the neutral point. You see, the net force on our spaceship at any given point is the force by gravity from the Earth plus the force by gravity from the Moon. But realize they're in opposite directions, so they're competing with each other. And if we were to graph that net force, it looks something like this. And that net force is zero at the point of equilibrium. So going back up here to the math, we're simply going to set the force by gravity from the Earth equal to the force by gravity from the Moon. Now plugging Newton's law of universal gravitation in for both of these forces by gravity, we get this equality. And this is really where we have to start being careful in how we solve this problem. You see, these two radii are not the same. This radius right here is telling us the distance between the Earth and the ship. Whereas this radius over here is the distance between the Moon and the ship. So if this radius is the distance to the Earth, and this is the distance to the Moon, we have another issue, and that is we don't know either of these. But realize, the distance between the Earth and the ship plus the distance between the ship and the moon is equal to the total distance between the Earth and moon. So I'm just going to say that the distance between the ship and the moon, that's dm, is equal to the distance between the Earth and moon, I'll call it dem, minus de, the distance between the ship and Earth. Now subbing that in right here, we get this line. And kids, this is actually where the physics in this problem ends. After this, it's just math. Now the first thing is, we got a bit of a cancel party going on here. Our gravitational constant, as well as the negatives, are going to cancel out. And so is the mass of our spaceship, this little m. Now we're trying to solve for dE, and the easiest way to do that is to pull this term over here, and put all our masses on the other side of the equal sign. Then taking the square root of both sides, we can isolate dE. leaving us with this expression. And if we plug in the values for the mass of the Earth, Moon, and the Earth-Moon distance, we find the neutral point is actually about 90% of the way between the Earth and the Moon. So kids, I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.